century or the 17th century and it was abolished in the 18th century but uh, dating to the 21st century we still having slavery going on uh, even in worse case scenarios it's sad that to have kenyans and africans being sold for as low as 90 dollars and that's why we have mandy in studio and jerongi who have something special this saturday which is going to be marking the world slavery day and uh, yes i'll let them speak to you the why in the morning family Karibuni sana. Yeah, uh... all right so maybe mandy can go first uh, your camera is number four uh brief introduction of yourself Hi, I'm Mandy. Mm -hmm. I work with CPI, Children's Peace Initiative, and mm -hmm. we've started this advocacy program to create an awareness that uh, migration of youth with, for jobs outside the country mm -hmm. without relevant information is mm -hmm. dangerous and it is making them victims of all kinds of hazards. Mm -hmm. The recent being the one which happened in Libya two years back reported by CNN mm -hmm. where the Africans were being sold as slaves literally for 80 to 90 dollars across mm -hmm. the table and this was primarily not just for work but mm -hmm. also for organ harvest from living bodies. Mm -hmm. So these are the atrocities which happen when youth just trust the fake agents who offer them jobs in mm -hmm. terms in, in, uh, in wanting to make a good future, a better future, they just accept it and they cross the borders and mm -hmm. they get into so much of trouble. Mm -hmm. So prevention is better than cure. Best, Once things happen, mm -hmm. it's so much more difficult. Right. So that is why we are trying to tell these aspiring youths mm -hmm. To first get proper information, relevant mm -hmm. information, mm -hmm. before making that journey information out. Information is power. Thank you very much, uh, Mandy. Uh, maybe you can introduce yourself yeah, uh, before we can carry on. Jirongi. Uh -huh. Koflani Momao. Koflani Momao, representing. Yeah, well, you're an artist. Yeah. Uh, you've been an artist for a while, but mm -hmm. you chose this cause because it, it means so much to you. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. man. Because uh, I a lot of people mm -hmm. now, Najua, mm -hmm. affected the uh, situation come easy. Raf Pia, Wakati Nikotuma, Global Trot, and to come easy, and make them commit my cases mob. Uh -huh. Now, what mob na I experience a lot of things is uh -huh. happen. So, personally, I was touched. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. You're a hip hop artist when you're yeah, saying hip hop. Yeah, man. Na hip hop is traditionally known uh, uh, to be against the oppressors, to yeah, be man. against oppression. Yeah, is this something that inspired you as well, being a, uh, coming from a background of hip hop? Yeah, man, even mm -hmm. apart from that, Pia yeah, is a place in Metoka, socially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tuna try to fight them up to come to the mm -hmm. group na toka. Uh -huh. It's all about that. Alright. Uh, yeah. I place represent Dandora. Dandara. Dandara. Capital ya hip hop. Hip hop city. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, I'll break you for a while. Uh, be sure to interact with us on White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think about this particular topic. Uh, New Age Slavery. And Saturday we have, uh, they will be marking something, uh, they will be having a walk, and they will be telling you more about this walk. So, uh, Mani, uh, there's a case study you talked about, uh, Libya, something happened in Libya. This was covered by CNN, it was covered by national media in Kenya, uh, but you feel like I, it didn't get that tension it needed to get. Yes, absolutely. Uh, CNN covered, CNN actually mm -hmm. released a footage in 2017 November mm -hmm. where they actually showed that this was happening. The Africans mm -hmm. were being sold mm -hmm. and auctioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was, they also said it was not just for work. They were, see what happened? EU closed the border. When mm -hmm. there were refugee problem went up, the EU closed the border. So mm -hmm. all the people who were being taken to Europe were mm -hmm. stopped. And Libya is the route through mm -hmm. which you go to Europe. They were all trapped in Libya. Mm -hmm. So they, these agents started selling them. Mm -hmm. And this was for all harvest from living bodies mm -hmm. for many people. Mm -hmm. Now this was covered by CNN and mm -hmm. the only other newspaper which carried it was uh, I think Daily Nation mm -hmm. which confirmed that uh, this is what was happening. Mm -hmm. But where was the hype? Where was the awareness created? To Neither the victims or who are the victims they read uh, Daily Nation or they mm -hmm. watch 
CNN and that also in these paper in this newspaper it was not in the first page or in the headline or now not that it was flashed all over it was not given any sp any uh, you know space that it deserved for people to get to know what was happening mm -hmm. because moment people know they react nobody nobody condones this or right. is it that people uh uh, don't care less or people have their own problems to care about other people's problems? Uh, yes and no. People do have their own problems but I wouldn't say they care less. You mm -hmm. see, issues like this touch everybody's heart. Mm -hmm. The thing is that media did not pick it up as mm -hmm. much as they should have. Yeah. Why? So media has a role to play. Yes, this is what very you're big role to play mm -hmm. because I can do, I can talk to 50 people. It doesn't cover uh, a country or a state or mm -hmm. a nation. So media has a big role to play here. Mm -hmm. And even African Union, African mm -hmm. Union should have been also the one to be actively involved in mm -hmm. spreading the awareness. Mm -hmm. So when people know they react and it is true that Kenya was not the one most affected by this Libya issue. Issue. Mm -hmm. It was most West Africa, mm -hmm. but it is just a matter of time when you know it uh, comes For to uh, yes. So, we get this so spread awareness. Country. Kenya has its problems mm -hmm. also. There have been people victimized here, uh, going to Middle East for jobs. Mm -hmm. So this is not a new chapter which is happening. It's just a new thing that is happening. Mm -hmm. So this awareness creation is very important because prevention is always better than yes, cure. Thank you. All right. So awareness is very important. So information, spreading this information, that's, this is why you chose uh, art as a way of spreading this word. Yes, we started this initiative called My Body Belongs to Me. Mm -hmm. We want to instill in people respect for themselves, mm -hmm. respect your body outside, respect your body inside, respect yourself. Mm -hmm. And the best way, we don't want to create revolutions, we want to create awareness. Mm -hmm. We want to give knowledge. So you should not be mistaken, they should not get yeah, it twisted. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, we want to spread this in a way that people stay with the message. Mm -hmm. And music and art are the best way and Kenyans really, really relate to it. Mm -hmm. So we do workshops in the marginalized area through art mm -hmm. where people express the whole idea and the whole dialogue that we have on paper canvas mm -hmm. on wall graffitis mm -hmm. and then we uh, we actually have Jerongi as our partner who mm -hmm. brings in music mm -hmm. and they rap with us they develop songs with us mm -hmm. they try you know they they convey their messages mm -hmm. so it becomes so interactive and so beautiful mm -hmm. and believe me when we leave the workshops you should see all these youngsters singing mm -hmm. the message my body belongs to me my respect body. me and they retain the message mm -hmm. they i have got so many sms's up from them after mm -hmm. that saying that you know that they they were grateful for the program they were grateful for the information that has come to them mm -hmm. it's very basic but mm -hmm. that awareness aggressively is not being created for them mm -hmm. all right Jirongi, come on sam toka i'm toka b and then you've managed to travel. Mkuwa lucky usanika kupeleka places different, different. Una dhani shide kwa api mbona wa seu fikiria abroad is better than home? Sanajua kitu ujono ni exciting. Ki imagine. And for a lot of people, info in your problem. Unajua. Uh, for example, but you used to repair your Kondamaji Imeko since long time. For example, Malkama Coast, mm -hmm. Kuna Arma Boys Wing, it's a Jew and Bome Pandama Boat, or Majis said you cook at travel like two, three months. Mm -hmm. Adima Air Jew at end up, Wapi Lakini, uh -huh. and a stroll away. Uh -huh. Unona. So, kind of Nila to try Kona, maybe either life see Jew in much better than either life Naijua, Pali Niko. After peers, a lot of stories that I'm not a cool punch, I'm out on a punch. Uh -huh. So, you know, make it in a car easier. Uh -huh. Problem ni what you want to end game, but on your, your process, your process, uh -huh. your process, ni norma sana. Uh -huh. Especially, I'm busy blame ja, like what see, Mavijano, Konja, Sana. People are hungry. And uh, uh, they're, they're frustrated, they're desperate. <laughs> Usually, a lot of people are than refugees, but there economic refugees, uh -huh. so many. There's a bigger picture. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, for example, climate in a change, so people are in a bid, you want to come, you want to come refugee, but you want to migrate, you want to come migrants. You want to stay in a way, you want to go anything. Yeah, and you want to go do for many years, we mm -hmm. do no more. Life mm -hmm. may change. Maybe technology may. I mean, if to mobs in as in affect mm -hmm. society, mob in a una patawa to wanna run out of it to do so. On a to change life, I'm change place. Wako mm -hmm. problem in a kuani ill place. Wanaenda, I want any information mm -hmm. first of all. 
Yeah, maybe I'm just I'm going to states. That word in the states. Rajua, maybe we support school visa. Lazima sa utafute njia zingi. Illegal. Illegal. Mm -hmm. Lazima sa pondi o blind ina kuwa juko sabo kuna law ina kuprotect. Mm -hmm. Akuna mtuwa tena kuprotect. Na mm -hmm. a lot of people are fikang ili destination wana enda. Uh, we know we fikati kati. We've seen what has happened in the Mediterranean. Yeah. Uh, people die along the way. As like much as. Unajua mm -hmm. pia watu na ongeenga sana kusu watu na didi Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. Wana sabo pia kuna watu before. Ah, we fikam Mediterranean. Actually, mm -hmm. wako lucky. Kuna wale so dead you. Okay, come on, dear Sat Nauko. Actually, ni wengi could call on Africa, Mediterranean. Or not the Mediterranean, I'm born in Dogo. But no issue number Kubo, and I hope you are to die here at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I know the Mediterranean called Desert, maybe we're getting in Nanja, we're getting my bandits, we're getting the only Shoka who are captured, we're getting the Mauga Navis, we're getting the Kama Izo, we're getting the only Kuzo Kama Slave Market. We're getting the Kuzo Kama Slave Market. We're getting the Kuzo Kama Slave Market. We're getting the Kuzo Kama Slave Market. Uh -huh. Alafu a lot of states zingine ni foreign states hakuna uh -huh. hakuna wana passports along the way yani hauna oh, ukiona visa uh -huh. utachukua tu ndege uende unajua uh -huh. that's easy hapo uh -huh. protected uh -huh. every process utaenda uh -huh. kama una hiyo nayo pia ni noma na pia unaweza kuona visa lakini ile inform uli get place unaenda uh -huh. ni wrong especially this story tunaona watu wanaenda Saudi ni nini nini uh -huh. mbona unaenda kupata job poko au maybe kwa tema kama kufika kule unaenda unakuwa unatupo kwa hao na kwa house boy ama unakuwa uh -huh. mbona yani unapigwa kama una videos we have seen a lot yeah, of yeah, videos yeah. online uh -huh. so ni ni ile tu for us electric na ile kitu tuna try kudun kupatia tu watu tu information at least information and awareness yeah. Eh, kuwa tu informed data kidogo utakikujua ni nini unaenda wapi kuna eh, kaje unaenda kwa nini na eh. swali jaribu nini ile wafanyia eh, right a very interesting uh, information a piece of information you shared with me uh, this demographic that is prone to these bandits it's a very important demographic to the economy of the countries please explain this to them this, these are the young, this is the youth which is going out, mm -hmm. right? And youth, and which, which, who are the ones who are going out? These are the ones who actually want a better life. Mm -hmm. These are not the ones who are saying, oh, we don't have a job, so let's go and have some weed or have some alcohol and forget about mm -hmm. it. These are the ones who are trying to live, mm -hmm. who are trying to They're bring really them, to yeah, who are work. trying, to, yes, mm -hmm. looking for ways of work mm -hmm. to bring back happiness to themselves and to mm -hmm. their families. And these are the ones going and getting affected in the most miserable ways. Mm -hmm. So this is, and youth is a very powerful part of any population. Mm -hmm. Look at Europe today, they, that's the biggest problem they had, they don't have youth. Mm -hmm. And today we have so much of youth here and we are actually not able to manage their lives better. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one side of it. The, but the main thing which I am trying to do is to create mm -hmm. awareness in them, mm -hmm. create self worth in them that they are worth much more than mm -hmm. subjugating themselves to this mm -hmm. kind of a, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this kind of a scenario where mm -hmm. they don't know where they are going, why they are going. They're just pursuing some blind dream ambition. Mm -hmm. So my message is: do homework properly before mm -hmm. you just jump into a ship. Right. Because your country protects you at the end right. of the day. When it's you within your borders, yes. there's no you place see like that We take country, mm -hmm. we forget, we live in secure countries, we forget how much the borders protect us. Mm -hmm. And we are blessed to have these borders. Mm -hmm. Many people don't have borders, right? Mm -hmm. We have well protected, proper bordered country. Mm -hmm. And this we have to understand. Moment we cross, we make ourselves vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So Yes, we all have ambition. We all look for new pastures. Mm -hmm. If we are doing that, if we are leaving the protection of this country, mm -hmm. we have to be very sure where we are stepping into. Mm -hmm. Therefore, information is very important. Mm -hmm. I'm not just saying don't look at opportunities mm -hmm. overseas. Don't look at new uh, job options. No, mm -hmm. I'm just saying my, my message to everyone is please do proper homework. Please mm -hmm. just don't no trust blind. Yes, no it's look before you leap. Mm -hmm. Yes. What happens when you get into trouble? It's a wasted life. Mm -hmm. And what is happening is heinous. It's it's like it's unacceptable. What CNN reported in 2015, mm -hmm. it, it it was I think whoever whoever uh, actually read it or saw the footage Shared reacted it. the same way. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's just that it did not get the amount of. Uh, mm -hmm publicity it should have because it is it is an issue which touches the world it's nothing to do with just one particular race today mm -hmm. africans are affected tomorrow it, this is not acceptable by any standards mm -hmm. 
Yes, we've seen uh, sex slaves in Europe. We've seen sex slaves. Yes, in this is Asia. going on. This is such a Frankenstein using yeah. sex slaves from the. You take people, promising them jobs, and then you put them onto something which they're That's not. That's not prepared. only affecting this, Africa. Yeah, this, in this, this is affecting, and age. this is so big. It's become mm-hmm. almost like a Frankenstein. You don't know where to stop it. Mm-hmm. So this is the reason my body belongs to me. This mm-hmm. project is all about creating awareness, trying to educate that. Please understand what you're doing, what where you're going before you take steps. Right. And you know, of course, there are more steps to this. We have to give them access to information. It's hashtag right. my body yeah. belongs to me. Yes, hashtag, hashtag is my body belongs to me. Uh, our social media handles are white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag my body belongs to me. Don't forget the hashtag why in the morning. And don't forget that Saturday is World Sleep Day, and they'll be having something special. But before we talk about Saturday, uh, Many a times you can watch something in the news and be like, all right, this is sad, but what can I do? So many people are watching this. Uh, they be watching this in the news and say, uh, what can you tell that person who's living a normal life, who earns a salary somewhere in, in Nairobi or Eldoret or Mombasa or anywhere in Kenya right now? And I do this idea. What are some of the things that normal woman and she can do to help in this case? Uh-huh. One is our follow, yes. nice one. Uh, social media, uh, uh, camera number phone. Uh, my body belongs to me uh-huh. on Facebook and uh, peer Twitter and uh, uh-huh. Instagram. I love to know peer or pay more info. I want to play part Ghani. Uh-huh. At the same time, kila the same ni mndo anaenda kujionea na za duni i get more informed apart from kile tumebonga hapa actually your 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 area ni kubwa sana no no ni ni a lot of things at least cover zote in in one way or another no no so ni poor to get more informed alafu through that utajua tu nini unaweza do ama part gani unaweza information is the first step hiyo ndio the first step being informed is the first step i see you're burning with yes, a lot I, of yes i would like to put in yes uh-huh. for all the viewers today uh-huh. if you sit and think what can we do uh-huh. you can do a lot uh-huh. that's why we are talking first and foremost the information that you're getting from us share uh-huh. talk about it share it with your friends tell your friends to share it with your friends uh-huh. word of mouth is a very very powerful tool we think uh-huh. we've forgotten about it today but it works uh-huh. that itself creates talk to your communities your groups you must be having so many networks mm-hmm. please and if if you're an artist express it through your art mm-hmm. if you're a poet express it through your poetry mm-hmm. if you're a writer write about it create the awareness mm-hmm. that look here we all have ambitions we all want to do better in life but that just doesn't mean that you know just jump into the first ship that comes and leave my country mm-hmm. first do the homework of where i'm going if mm-hmm. i'm leaving my country i'm leaving a very safe haven mm-hmm. so where am i going and what is it there for me mm-hmm. once you leave the protection of a country it's very it becomes all the more difficult mm-hmm. so all i'm trying to say is to the youth to the youngsters who have mm-hmm. dreams or ambitions please do your homework properly before you take up jobs, sign up with agents, put mm-hmm. all your savings and give it to him and say that give us a job. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're doing it with a fantastic vision in mind, mm-hmm. but you're probably pursuing a wrong dream. Right. That's the only awareness I'm trying to create. Mm-hmm. Get informed. Migration without information is dangerous. All right. Saturday, this Saturday, you have something special uh, from mm-hmm. Sair Center to the UN headquarters. Now this Saturday, 25th May, has been declared a Pan-African Day of Celebration Mm -hmm. of Africa and highlighting issues. Mm -hmm. The issues this time has been uh, to discuss human trafficking and slave trade. Mm -hmm. So Pan-Africa, we are all celebrating this day. Mm -hmm. So on this day, we've planned a march, a Mm -hmm. costume party, a costume parade where Mm -hmm. everybody is invited to come to Village Market in African costume and walk with us. Why African costume? To mm-hmm. celebrate Africa. To so feel proud of the country mm-hmm. and the continent we live in. Mm-hmm. So while we celebrate and we pride ourselves of the heritage, we also take cognizance of the fact of the problems that are happening in this continent. Mm-hmm. Slavery, human trafficking. Therefore, the walk begins with a backward walk. We walk backwards mm-hmm. for literally. the first, literally backwards, mm-hmm. For the first 20 minutes mm-hmm. to create an impact on everybody and on ourselves that we are doing this because in terms of humanity we looks like we are regressing back mm-hmm. if 
we are accepting slavery in today's world, if we are condoning human trafficking in this way, then what are we, where is the progress of mankind? So just to instill this in all of us, and to the world and to the viewers, we are doing this walk backwards. Mm -hmm. So we say walk back mm -hmm. and then walk back for what is right. Then mm -hmm. we walk forward mm -hmm. because you have to end with progress. Everybody's so, invited. Yes. So please mm -hmm. join us for the walk. It's a short walk from village market till the UN point. Mm -hmm. We are not entering UN. It's just before uh, the, at the petrol pump where you have mm -hmm. that... Uh, uh, where, the, where the road from village market, uh, that junction, that roundabout. Mm -hmm. And then we are back and then we are inside the market complex. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of events happening that day to create awareness. Mm -hmm. And that's where we are. And please follow us on My Body Belongs to Me page. My Body Belongs to Me is a page. My Body Belongs to Me is a hashtag. And uh, right. My Body Belongs to Me is the message you're preaching today. As an artist, talk to the artist, because a lot of artists watch what in the morning, and a mm. lot of <clears throat> artists are interested on this particular show just to share their music and just create a career for themselves. But talk to them in terms of giving back to the community and using their influence the right way. Kinaza sema kusuma artist wengi ni wanaza try pia kutujoin. Zile wetu tunadu, tunakuwa nama program mob. As a artist, mm -hmm. you hand, you handle. Mm -hmm. At the same time, Pia, apart from Pia, when I say take message back to where they are, Palu on a power, and Pia on a Shia, not in Guinea, my own as a come around, Pia to do a lot of recordings. Because mm -hmm. my topic, na Pia, my social issues in Guinea. Mm -hmm. So Pia on a reach out, Pia to net Neza Duaja, Pia now, mm -hmm. at the same time, right. to my platform, Niki Bout, Ambazot Neza. So for example, he show a village market to a lot of artists. Now see what at what my big name actually. We are through my boys from Tani. We are do a lot of different kind of arts. We are my painter. We are my dancer. We are my rapper. Just different kind of artists. No, no. Yeah. All right. So artists can come and join and use their arts and use their influence to impact. Yeah, man. All right. Thank you very much for coming through. But uh, I have to give you a chance to say your last remarks. Uh, 30 seconds each as we wrap up. Well, as we said, mm -hmm. artists are, can create a lot of change. Mm -hmm. Colors are very powerful. Mm -hmm. Words are very powerful. So the poets, mm -hmm. writers, they can spread the message through the message of art. And that is what we are doing. We're using these tools for mm -hmm. these workshops. So please come forward, join us in this whole process of creating awareness. We just want to inform people and make people aware of what's happening in mm -hmm. the world and how they should protect themselves. My body belongs to me. My body belongs to me. Uh -huh. yeah, 30 seconds, last remarks, Malizia. Eh, uh -huh. uh -huh. happen. We'll get too informed. Uh -huh. The same yeah. rice could get informed, by the way. Yes, any mm -hmm. rice actually. Do a lot of uh, event mobs in a happen not on a capture. Mm -hmm. Like sim wapa. My sim was in happen mm -hmm. sana. Na pia at the same time, what will get too involved in any mm -hmm. kind of social things is in a happen mtani. Mm -hmm. uh, Zina help sana and zin open up brain. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Safi Kabisa, V, uh, DJ, Rajis, uh, Malizia, mm -hmm. Uh, are you sad <laughs> after listening to us? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, you have said it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know any? Have, have you ever heard of any incidents of somebody being trafficked? Uh, I'm an uh, news to. News, news to. <laughs> news to. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh -huh. anyway, you are, you will be listening to the sounds of DJ Rajiz himself in the studio. But please remember, uh, my body belongs to me is the hashtag. You can find them on my body belongs to me on social media, and uh, you can show up at Village Market on Saturday. What time is it again? Eleven forty-five. Eleven forty-five. They'll be walking backwards towards the UN uh, headquarters and then walking forward just to mark something on this World Slave Day. And uh, yes, do something, man. Uh, don't just be about yourself. Don't just be about take, 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 take. Sometimes you can give. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Moon on every social media platform. Don't touch that dial. We still have a lot lined up for you. <laughs>